My name is uh, Dr. Christian Larsen. I'm a senior resident here at the Department of Respiratory Medicine at the uh, Odense University Hospital. Here at the outpatient clinic, we use advanced lung ultrasound uh, in order to assess uh, patients with suspected malignancy in the chest. With the scanner, we can use to perform both uh, diagnostic examinations, but also to perform ultrasound guided procedures such as the diagnostic tap or tissue biopsies of chest wall, pleura or lung. Prior to us getting ultrasound here, we only had basically two procedures in order to assess this patient. We could either use bronchoscopy uh, guided uh, tissue sampling or we could send the patient for a CT guided biopsy. The differences are that uh, when you use bronchoscopy, we have to sedate the patient. Uh, so it's uh, a bit more uh, cumbersome and requires more resources for us. Uh, and if, if we have to send the patient for a CT guided biopsy, we have to admit the patient at the, at the department instead, so it requires longer time and we know the complication rate is higher as well. Uh, the technique of using contrast and hard ultrasound enables us to differentiate between uh, basically normal tissue and then uh, tissue which has some degree of pathology in it. And then when we perform tissue biopsies, then we can make sure that the biopsy is from a viable tissue area, uh, increasing the accuracy of the biopsy. To survive, they're going to cut off the whole thing. Now we'll demonstrate how to perform an uh, advanced lung ultrasound examination using contrast-enhanced ultrasound. Uh, this is Peter, uh, which is another patient, so we'll expect him to have normal findings uh, on our examination. Some of the clips which we'll show you is archive footage from real patients. To begin with, we'll begin our examination by performing a, a normal lung ultrasound uh, using conventional B mode. So we'll take our transducer and then start assessing our patient here. And once we have obtained uh, our best image of the area we're interested in, then on the machine here, then we change to our contrast mode uh, and then uh, contrast is injected intravenously. So in this image here, we have the, the conventional B mode image over here and we have a hypercoic gray area here, uh, which we can see looks like a tumor, but we're basically not able to see which areas here are necrotic and which areas are viable. Over here we have uh, the contrast image here, which uh, currently is freezed. And when, when we start the image, we can see that contrast start to appear around in the area around here and also over here. And in this case, there's a relatively late uh, signal uh, corresponding to late enhancement. There was no early enhancement here. And as the contrast starts to go out here, we can see that there's a black hypoechoic area here without any enhancement. And down here, we also have two smaller areas, uh, one large area here with, with little enhancement. So when we later perform the biopsy, then we know that the biopsy should be obtained from such an area from over here, or for example, in the middle here, because these are uh, most likely viable areas of tumor tissue. So we get a lot more detailed information from the contrast image here than the conventional uh, B-mode image here. Uh, once we have completed the uh, contrast uh, enhanced examination, then we go back to our conventional B-mode and then we can obtain the tissue biopsies. So you want to come up and sit, so are we ready? Yeah, thank you. The advantage is that we uh, are more confident that we take the biopsy from a viable tissue area, increasing the accuracy uh, of our biopsy. And also from the patient enters the room to the patient leaves the room again, it typically takes one hour, which is uh, then followed by a one hour observation period in, in the waiting room uh, before the patient goes home.